Hello, Yig here, and today I wanted to offer up some tips for Fighter Squadron, how you might be able to do a little better and explain some of the mechanics real quick. And I'll have another video coming up where I explain a little bit more about the Alliance ships. Right now I'm going to explain the Imperial ships and the mechanics, some of the mechanics are more important to the Imperial ships than they are the Alliance ships, which is why I'm starting here. Now, as you see, as you watch the gameplay, you're going to see me right above my life is my speed, how much speed I'm putting in my engines. It's actually a, a it's less a speed meter as it is a division of where your engine power is going. If your engine power is all the way to the right, you're going all speed. If it's all the way to the left, you're going all damage and reheat and cooldown reduction and shields in the case of the Alliance ships, but we'll talk about those in that video. Now, that'll help you out in doing damage. If you get behind somebody and you slow down, you're going to be able to do significantly more damage faster, regardless of which ship you choose. I use the TIE Interceptor throughout this, but the TIE Fighter itself is an amazing ship. And again, you can, you can stay alive in either one of these ships for a very long time by just using that in the evasive maneuvers and using your speed to your advantage or using or dialing your speed all the way down like I'm doing here and using the extra damage to your advantage. So you give yourself the advantage for what the situation is based upon that bar. If you're all the if you're halfway, you're that works really well, especially well in the tie fighter. The other mechanic I really wanted to point out is what you'll see here. I'm soft locking him, that's your ADS key. It doesn't just tighten up the spread, but it actually adds a little bit of it changes the angle of fire on your guns by about 10 to 15 degrees from what I've noticed, and it also highlights whether the ship is an AI ship. For example, this one is an AI ship. Now, the reason we know that is because there's no name above it. Now, I get behind a guy right there, and you'll see there's a name. Now, that's a player ship. So you know, and AI ships tend to be a little less dangerous than player ships, so sometimes you want to focus on those, but you definitely, definitely want to focus on the AI ships, too, because... Not only are they easier to kill, but you can remove a lot of AI ships very rapidly by just focusing on those or, or taking one of those. For example, if I broke off and took, attacked that other a ring, that's one of those things that you kind of get a feel for as you're going, and you'll see using that soft lock will also really help out in, in keeping you on target. Sometimes you don't see a guy... You got that soft lock, and, and suddenly you'll see that red pop up around him. So it's like, okay, here we go. Um, you definitely... That situation was actually kind of funny, because the guy was so close to me, and he was so focused on me, that when I made the sharp turn after the evasive maneuver, like I said I do, that he actually crashed into me, because we were just too close. Now, when the transport pops up, you'll see me do that. I get really focused on the transport. I ignore the damage. I don't get out of there when I should have. And we, I end up getting killed, and we end up... Not enough of our team actually attack the transport. You have to attack that transport if you're on the Imperial side. It really makes a huge difference in how much you're winning. And we do win this game, but it comes down really close, and it shouldn't have been that close if more of our team had actually attacked the transport. The transport is really key to making points. They get a lot of points for that transport living, where we do not get that. So we barely squeak out the win on that. But if you focus on the soft lock, you focus on changing your, your power division between your engine, between speed and guns, and, and just... Deciding whether or not you're in a good situation to get the kill. I chase this guy down, but it's not always a good idea. Sometimes you just want to break off, especially TIE Fighters. Breaking off with a TIE Fighter is a really important skill to figure out because you don't necessarily want to chase that kill if it's going to get you killed. See, if the transport comes up, and like I said, they're going to get a bunch of points here because we don't kill the transport. I get focused on it and get them obliterated, which is fine. I did my damage to the transport. Try not to get killed, but try your hardest to get that transport down, because when that transport leaves, they get a bunch of points for it. And if you kill the transport, well, I don't know, I guess they don't get points for it. Sorry. 
correction on my part, my mistake. But if you kill that transport, your side gets a truckload of points. So, as you go through, as you're playing, really try out that. Try out maneuvering with how much your engine power versus gun power goes. Soft locks, make sure you're using your evasive maneuvers. If you don't have an evasive maneuver up and a missile's coming for you, do your best to just start making sharp turns. Crank your speed down, up, up, vary your speed, hit the middle of the speed. You will you can actually outfly the torpedo in any of the Imperial ships. And that makes a huge difference in how long you can last and how well you can do. So, I'm almost out of footage here, so I'm going to leave this at that. This is the been the Imperial side. We do a very close victory here. I do pretty well. Um, I get killed a few more times than I like, but it happens. And it's always going to happen, especially on the Imperial side, because you don't have shields. And I'm going to have a video, game, video up a couple of days from now. I'll talk about the hero ships and the... And the uh, alliance ships. And I'll give you a few more hints on that. Thanks for watching. And have a great day, everyone.